why is it every Soviet of note is currently in Afghanistan? <laughs> there's, there's nowhere else. Uh, all the important ones are here. He's not in like a Siberian gulag or anything. He's just in Afghanistan. Yeah, it's it's it is pretty funny. This is going to happen several more times where important Russians are in Afghanistan. <laughs> And this part of Afghanistan, too. This yeah. very small area of Afghanistan. Cos, what about the unit that attacked us in the mist? You knew something about them. That wasn't my first run-in with them. It happened right before I was captured by the Soviets. We were on the Zero Line that day. The Afghan side. On our way back from training the Mujahideen at a mountain camp in Kuna province. There's a lot of that work in Afghanistan. Most PFs shy away from it because it draws too much attention. But for us, that was the whole point. There's several cassette the tapes that great. feel like in previous Metal Gear games, they would have just been like a mandatory codec call. Mm -hmm. um, and pretty much all that type of stuff you usually expect from Metal Gear is relegated to these tapes now. Uh, there is very little, like, info dumping something on you and, like, fading to a cutscene full of stock footage. Mm -hmm. uh, that never a that actually never happens even once in this game. <laughs> Instead, it's just footage of a horse's ass bouncing rhythmically. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what it's gonna be. <laughs> Whatever happened to me, I lost consciousness before I knew it. When I came to, I was in a Soviet camp tied to an interrogation chair. Could they be some new Spetsnaz unit? No. Wait a minute, who was that? What voice was that I just heard? Wait a minute. The way they moved was just insane. And that mist, appearing out of nowhere. The Soviets don't have tech like that. If they did, Ocelot would have heard about it. I doubt the West does either. Otherwise, the folks at Langley would be sleeping a lot easier. Why'd they come after you? Wish I knew. I'm the only one who survived. Though I don't think they planned it that way. If I was their target, they wouldn't have just handed me over to the 40th Army. Whatever the case, we need to watch our step until we know who they really are. And boss, if you ever do run into them again, don't try to take them on. You just get the hell out of there. Okay, I'll try and take them on next time. It's not like you're the greatest soldier ever or anything. Nah. Remember that time you lifted a tank? <laughs> a giant mech, even? <laughs> oh, man. Remember uh, that time you fought a dragon? <laughs> oh, right. Uh... So yeah, there's two different mission starting points for this mission. Uh, Venom Snake is currently close to the other one. Uh, but before we do that, we gotta fix up our horse. Mm. So uh, over to here... play dress up with our horse, because this is the manliest game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can just... anybody you have with you, you can change their equipment. <laughs> like, in the field, you don't have to go, like... <laughs> back to Mother Base to do it, so, uh, that ho our horse will be back in about a minute. <laughs> and also, I supply drop the, uh, grenade launcher we made earlier. Just playing dress up with my best friend who's a horse in the most homoerotic series of games <laughs> ever made of all time. I don't want to imagine that there's, like, a specific unit at Mother Base that's all for just, like, rushing uh, helicopter equipment of horses. Look at him go! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> this horse has been trained to not be scared of parachuting. It's a good horse. It's, it's a, a really good, good horse. horse. <laughs> so yeah, our horse is tactical now. Look at him. <laughs> ah, it's an eye shield. <laughs> he's got an eye shield. Eye shield is so good. And he he's dressed in a bank uh, a blanket of Kevlar. It's great. I love the horse. Uh, the the battle dress for the mm -hmm. horse. A horse worthy of Venom Snake. Yeah. And we also got a uh, big boss approaching start point. So if you're starting a mission from the open world instead of dropping in from a helicopter, uh, there's always these little like crates that Mother Base drops off. Uh, and these mm -hmm. act as, like, refueling spots as well. They they completely fill up all of your ammo and suppressors and all that stuff. Also, it's it's daytime, and it needs to be nighttime to sneak. I feel a little weird, though.
Oh yeah, he's back, baby. Thinking about the moon. <laughs> What's it made of? Cheese. Remember that one time I went to the moon? <laughs> Don't tell me that Snake never went to the moon. At this point in the series, anything is possible. We'll just have to wait for Metal Gear Survive to come out. <laughs> <laughs> My mom went to space. Whoa. Uh, Vapor Snake's gonna make a new iDroid that's got a special, uh, speaker function. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Is he gonna be like Kevin McAllister? Pretty close. Uh... He really is ahead of his time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, Vapor Snake may have, uh, accidentally ended his timeline by letting Miller die. But, uh, he can just hop to whatever timeline I please. He just appears when you smoke a little too much. I just gotta wait for our... And we'll eventually figure out which way is forward, <laughs> yes. He's comfy now. Sometimes you think about, like, if the ground is down and the sky <laughs> is up, but, like, what if we're wrong? Whoa. You okay, bro? Oh, all right. Ready to go. Anyway, I belong in this box. Yeah. Oh man, it broke. Well, alright, I got my horse. My legs feel, feel a little weird, so I'm gonna take it easy. Slowly progress towards my goal. Still thinking about the moon also. Intel. <sighs> Cookies. <laughs> Mother Base, uh, the guys in the helicopters can see the vapor cloud from the sky. <laughs> they know what to pack. <laughs> Boss, they decided not to research Doritos this time because they don't want to be an enabler. Oh, yeah. You need to find him and get him out. He tried to defect from the base camp up north, but it didn't work out. Now they're holding him at what sin. He's offered his technical skills to us as long as we can guarantee his I have safety. to also think have that to they don't give Vapor Snake the mother base Doritos because his hands would get all Force covered in the dust and then guards would be able to track him. <laughs> he's the only one capable of maintaining it. If we bring him in, I'm sure he'll be able to modify it in all kinds of ways as well. All right. Got to get the prosthetics developer. Um, so this base, uh, is actually a base we passed through earlier. That's the Waxin Barracks. The target is somewhere inside that outpost. The Soviets In the first mission where we were trying to rescue so Miller, like and mm -hmm. Venom Snake just rode that truck the whole way through, this is the base, uh, the truck made a stop at before getting to the place where Miller was. <laughs> All right, that guy sucks. Yeah, that guy sucks. Uh, this yeah. guy is okay. He's he's C a C rank in uh, base development, which we can't even do yet. So, um, but, so yeah, the current uh, scope we have it can't fully scan dudes. It can tell you if a guy has a skill or not, but it can't tell you what that skill is. It'll just be question marks. Uh huh. Uh, also, the scope can't detect dudes above B rank. So if they're in A rank or above, it's just like a question mark and like the 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 like bar showing his rank is just like wildly bouncing up and down because it doesn't know what it is. <laughs> this guy's really good, but how really how good? good? <laughs> Don't know. So yeah, this is another uh instance of being able to bypass a large part of the base just by climbing. Uh, a lot of people don't know about these cracks, because mm -hmm. they're pretty easy to miss unless you're looking at them with night vision goggles. Well, no one has ever survived scaling the Cliffs of Insanity, so... <laughs> uh, 
there is another way to find those cracks later on. There, there are There is an ability you can get that will just label them on the map for you. But... Yes, it's called Crack Addict. <laughs> Look, we got the one guy who's a little twitchy, <laughs> but he loves finding those cracks. Riding the helicopter with a high-powered scope, just looking for cracks. <laughs> Also known as absinthium. That's used to make your phantom cigars. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Cool. Uh, so yeah, I gotta find this dude somewhere. Um, this base is the biggest one we've been to so far. Uh, and mm -hmm. finding him is a little tougher than in previous missions where we've had to find somebody where it's like, well, he's probably in the biggest building. <laughs> uh, or he's probably in the place where the most guards are. Um, also, this window pane's weird just because that little bit in the middle is there. I can't scan that dude. It's just bisected it's by like it. The, the whole vapor snake thing uh -huh. is kind of a ha 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 joke, but yes. Wormwood is like a hallucination. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the game has confirmed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vapor Snake's real fucked up when he's on that stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a canonical basis. Okay, uh -huh. I don't know. Like that's the thing with recording these ahead of time. Nobody's seen any yet. We don't. We don't know what the reaction is. But yeah. like, it's uh, it's canon. It's it's canonical. It's true. Um. So yeah, this guy, you can spot. He's just. A POW who is a little better than the soldiers at, at this point in time. Oh, is that why they pick on him? Yeah. Because he makes him feel inadequate. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the optional mission tasks, too, Subject is finding him. Man, a D. These guys suck. <laughs> um, I forget how many, like, dudes there are here. A, a couple of them are sleeping at the moment, thankfully. Um, to make this part a little easier. I could prank him by turning off the power right now, but... Ooh. Um... So, like in Ground Zeroes, where there were, like, guards who would just have conversations with each other, uh, those were, like, scripted as long as you got close enough to those guards and they were still in that area, they would always talk. Uh, mm -hmm. now, like, there's a bunch of conversations guards can have anywhere and at any time... <laughs> <laughs> Which is, sometimes I might just hang out in a spot for a bit, because, uh, sometimes they might start talking. Fortunately, this time they didn't. Usually, uh, that guy there will go into that barrack and talk to that the other dude and have a little conversation about a later thing that will happen. Also, a weird thing, so, you know, you, you can climb through window, si window sills and stuff, uh, but it's like, mm -hmm. there's a window here. Uh, that doesn't matter. Big Boss just smashes his fucking face through it, and also, guards don't hear you busting through glass. This is the conversation I was looking for. Because there's a naked lady in it? Yep. No, actually, it's foreshadowing. Of a naked woman. So, you know, it's a Kojima game. <laughs> Anyways, bro, I would fuck a ghost. Bye. <laughs> See ya, dude. And you wouldn't be the first. Welcome to the Metal Gear timeline. <laughs> also, uh, there there are uh, some tapes just to play for background music. Since aside from like the ambient stuff that kind of tells you what uh, you know what mode of uh, alert the guards are in. There isn't a lot of background music in this game for the most part, so you kind of have to supply your own. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, this is the PC version, which also lets you put in custom soundtracks, so later on we'll be fucking with that. Well, you already got kids in America, so what else it, do you need? Yeah. Um. So with sandstorms come in, sandstorms effectively make you blind and deaf. The song's not that bad. 
Again, th- that song's been around forever. It's just, uh, it's been suppressed by Cypher. <laughs> and later the Patriots. They deem when people are ready for Sandstorm. Yeah, the, the lyrics aren't do 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 do, it's lolly lulay lo. <laughs> oh, that'd be really hard to sing. <laughs> it would be. I considered it, but no. <laughs> All right, we can interrogate guys now, and also tell them to get on the ground. Finally. I got your butt in my sights. Or I will shoot you through your anus. And it will come out your skull. <laughs> All right, so he both labeled guys in the map and told us where some blueprints are. Oh, they're right here, though. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Did that by accident. Just what we need to develop new weapons and equipment. So yeah, that's just to make a new gun. Uh, but meanwhile, Vapor Snake, he's just uh, he's gonna rush the base head on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is fall damage in this game, but as long as you're diving, it takes a much bigger fall to hurt you. Because <laughs> you can you know, always just roll into it. All that smoking, he still has incredible lung capacity. Yeah, he's the best. Uh, he's hallucinating, thinking he has better lungs, and so it ah, works. I see. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the glow mushroom technique. Yeah. I mean, yeah, see? There's already precedent for it. He thought those fucking <laughs> mushrooms would recharge his batteries. Uh, also, uh, another new box technique, or several actually. This guy spotted me, and he's gonna investigate the box. That ain't good. Mm. But uh, if we go to where we equip the box, there's a button prompt for changing posters. Venom or Vapor Snake picked up posters before, so we'll stick this soldier poster on the box. And with the newfound technique of standing, ah, oh. he just salutes us and yeah. uh, goes on his way. <laughs> that poster makes Amazing. people think you're another guy of. It doesn't always now, does work. Does that work as well in daytime? Because I hope not. Uh, in, so, in daytime, yeah, it doesn't work as well. Uh, it's based on how well they can see you. So if that guy had was much closer to the box and saw the poster, it wouldn't affect him. And also just accidentally stumbling upon more intel. This actually was an accident. I forgot this was here when I was recording. <laughs> nice find. Analyzing the intel file you picked up. We've got a fix on the target. I've updated your map info. Check it on your iDroid. So yeah. Oh, huh. Yeah, there he is. All right, cool. This is mosey on over there, I guess. Also, there's the picture of the man. Doesn't he look friendly? I like his taste in shirts. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good color. Really works for him. Mm -hmm. Um, God, this stupid box trick. <laughs> right? Uh, there's even more stuff the box can do, which you'll be seeing in a bit with uh, Vapor Snake here. Uh, a weird thing, so you can sprint in the box, but only for about three seconds. Why is the captain sashaying, and why do his knees do not bend? <laughs> So yeah, limited amount of sprint time while in the box. I'm guessing it's just too awkward to, to do that. <laughs> also, you can still uh, you can still fire your gun while standing in the box. You just mm -hmm. you just push it open. <laughs> you could do everything in the box, basically. Faultoning. Yep, you got it. The only thing you can't do in the cardboard box, basically, while <laughs> wa while standing up, is f fire like two-handed guns. Him. It's only pistols or anything one-handed. My really. favorite speedrun category of, of Metal Gear Solid Five <laughs> is box percent. You have to be in a box at all times. Yeah, that actually was uh, something that made speed uh, faster speedruns in Metal Gear Solid Three. Uh, if you were in a cardboard box while moving, you would go up slopes faster. <laughs> I always liked that move. Uh, also, <laughs> I just remembered if you, when you were fighting the Shagohod, 
uh, like when Volgan was riding on top of it. Uh, if you equip the cardboard box, it would make you just short enough to be able to walk right under the, the Shago Hide without getting hurt. <laughs> I always thought it was weird that in this game, though, like his cardboard box gets lifted into the stratosphere when he unequips it. I'm guessing there's a helicopter always well, above sending, you. Well, you're sending it back to heaven with the rest of the angels uh. where it belongs. I want to imagine there's a, a mother base dude in a helicopter with fishing line attached to it. <laughs> Reeling it back in. Yeah, Scarlet Lockatoo. <laughs> All right, that guy's just going to lie down there forever. I've always loved how powerful holding up a dude is in the later Metal Gear games, because it's just like as long as nobody finds them or like starts shooting their gun and, and starts screaming, like, they just stay there, even when they know there's no <laughs> threat. Like, I left. You could hear the door close. Maybe he thinks I'm really, really fast. Maybe he thinks I'm Santa Claus? I just perhaps, know what he's perhaps. doing. Those I mean, are raw diamonds. Collecting them as assets will I'm, I'm hoping... Uh... After this nine-year coma, that big boss still believes in Santa Claus, even mm -hmm. after Huey potentially shattered his belief in him. So that's why we were supposed to know Huey was the asshole. <laughs> that's where it comes from. Yeah. That's the hint. I mean, I guess the other hint was also like... Uh, oh, also guys can tell you where like the really good soldiers are at. They're called specialists. The guys that don't suck. Ooh. Um... I guess the other hint was like, you know, you rescue Huey, and he was like, that asshole hot coldman was making me make an awful nuclear weapons platform robot. But for you, you're nice. I'll make you a nuclear weapons platform. <laughs> <laughs> this one will be the better one. Also, those dudes way over there that we can't really hear, but the subtitles are still picking up are, they're just talking about nuclear deterrence. You know, ah, Peace yes. Walker. <laughs> those, those heady days. <laughs> so yeah, the base just went on alert because they saw one man fly away quickly with a balloon attached to him. You say that dismissively, but that seems like good protocol. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. It's just, uh... I, I do like how they, they kind of balanced that because like in peace walker Whoop. you you couldn't move bodies at all mm -hmm. and so they they kind of added like oh there's still a benefit to hiding bodies because like you can't make everyone your friend or else everyone's gonna freak out but also yeah if you like make guys go on caution and start running around uh, if you got them tagged, you can figure out, oh, they're going underground a little. Can help uh, track that dude faster. Boss, you've entered a building. Always keep <laughs> the yeah, thanks. Thanks. head indoors. If you get surrounded, you'll have nowhere to run. Hey, boss, you're wearing pants. What? Just, just FYI. Oh, no. Another specialist. So many special boys here. Yeah, but how special? Probably like C rank at this point. Not even that special. They're the trash of the future. A dumpster looks big enough to hide somebody. You could stash a downed enemy in there or hide in it yourself. Just don't stand too close to me afterward. I've had my share of dumpster boys, boss. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, just like dumping a dude into uh, a porta potty. Uh, the, even though like stunned guys will generally wake up after about a minute, uh, because he's in the dumpster, he just never wakes up. <laughs> 
That's some powerful garbage they got around yeah. here. I want to imagine that maybe he does wake up, but he's really embarrassed. So he just doesn't leave. Oh. Man, so many dudes just barely seeing me. Um, also that little, like, the, the little kind of glowing circle to indicate uh, that they saw you. Uh, if the that circle like gets is only on the top half or bottom half of the line, that's indicating like where they are in position mm -hmm. to you, like above you or below you. Whoop. The <laughs> binoculars get weird when you're glued to walls. I love that there was just a gigantic raw diamond next to the dumpster. Mm hmm. Oh, we There's nothing that. unusual about that. Yeah. If we it was in the dumpster, sure, you got a leg to stand on. But. Mm hmm. All right. Probably found that dude because there's somebody who wants to go home really bad. So one thing I'm on the look look out for is uh you know there's there's all these different materials you can pick up. Uh, the one you especially want to always be looking out for is fuel, because uh, mm -hmm. it is probably the resource you need the most in this game, and it's kind of a really big like bottleneck. Like sometimes you'll have everything you need to make something except for fuel. Always keep an escape route in mind when you head indoors. If you get surrounded, you'll have nowhere to run. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't be saying that. I I think Snake's <laughs> currently pretty paranoid. <laughs> You're only making things worse. So, I want to attract this guy's attention. But when you're in the box, you can't, like, knock. But I can't whistle for my horse still. And that also alerts dudes. And also my horse is, like, above me. <laughs> he can't come in here, I guess. Aww. Look, behold! Now that might attract some dudes. So yeah. This poster only works if you go into the crouching position, so you unfold the box. Yeah. Uh, once he notices this sexy poster, you know, they do the usual thing. <laughs> yeah, this is the usual thing. <laughs> the isn't usual it? This Metal is... Gear style reaction for this type of thing. Yeah! He pumps his fist. <laughs> Uh, if you press the X button while crouched, you also just, like, eject from the box. You just crawl out of it. You can leave the box behind. Hey, he's a C Ooh, rank of two a specialist. He's, he's okay. He's alright. Well, well, time for the slap button. Hey, put your hands back up. So, uh, very quickly, there's a cassette tape I need over here to pick up. Uh, it's called Afghan Lullaby. Mm-hmm. Um... So, you know, I, I upgraded my iDroid with a speaker function. So if we go to the Afghan lullaby tape and set it to play on speakers, other guards can now hear what I'm listening to. And so if somebody hears the Afghan lullaby tape all the way through, they fall asleep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a powerful lullaby. It is. Uh, unfortunately, th so there are several tapes that, if you play them uh, through your speakers so other guards can hear them, uh, they all do different things to guards, but the the cassette tapes break, so you can't use them Aww. forever. Um, so like the Afghan lullaby tape just broke, but eventually we can pick it up in the same spot again, and also all these tapes can be picked up in multiple different spots. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. That the Afghan lullaby is pretty useful if, like, you're surrounded and hiding in a box, and oh god, they're all gonna get me. You just play that and make them all go to sleep. There's a tiny little hole in the ceiling here. There you go. Yeah. Let's thread that needle. It works. Get that C student out of here. <laughs> also, since, yeah, we just had the intel, we could just go straight to the scientist. There he is. Uh, hey, hey, buddy, where's your necktie? I don't recognize you. Hey. So the scientist wants to have a little chat with us. 
But Vapor Snake never got the the Russian interpreter, so I have no fucking clue what this dude's saying to me. <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. Bye. Anyway, just make arms good, all right? Make my arm better. That sounds cool. See ya. The game actually has uh, an extra, like, secret objective for getting the scientist through that little hole in the ceiling. Oh. Like, that's what made him Miller so, so that's impressed. That's what the lateral thinking was referring to. Yeah. There. That's the target. I like that he's begging for help, and then it's like, wait, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? You, you got, I'm getting help? Mm -hmm. Thankfully, guards can't hear him giving you his backstory. <laughs> Although I do like he wants to dump this all on you while you're still trying to rescue him. Like, he's not out of danger yet! He just hasn't had a chance to talk to anybody in a long time. Great. If there's nothing in the way overhead, you should be able to bolt him. Why does a weapons platform need giant hands? <laughs> Are they are they making real steel robots? <laughs> it's uh, it's like Pat Labor's style mechs, where uh, instead of having like gun arms, they just make a normal revolver, but it's r giant robot sized. So they need real giant robot hands to hold that normal ass gun. <laughs> All right, buddy. Sure thing. Here you go. Yeah, dude, that's the plan. <laughs> I love how happy he is to be Fulton. He passed the dog on the way up, and he's he's feeling Aww. really good about today. All right, it's a venom snake. Uh. He's got his own plan, and it's gonna be a pretty quick one. Yeah. We've got a grenade launcher, we got a battle horse. <laughs> we got a tactical what battle else horse. What do you need? Yeah. That's, that's a recipe for a good day. Mm hmm. Uh, also, I wanna point out uh, going across this area, look! It's a bear! Oh. There's even a special icon to tell you when a bear's getting mad at you. Watch Is out. A, can we make it a battle bear? Is that a, a bear buddy? Hmm. Well, later on, we may be able to actually capture that bear. The target is somewhere inside that outpost. I mean, one thing that Mother Base is missing so is, a, is a bear. Yeah. It needs a bear. We have plenty of hunks, we have no bears. <laughs> Ooh, a B-boy. A B-boy? Welcome to the 80s, it's full of b-boys. Yeah, I mean, there's a b-boy, and Mother Base does need to get its sports teams back together. I mean, before they like to play soccer, that's been documented, but uh, maybe basketball's the new thing to start playing in Mother Base. Alright, so there is just a road that goes straight up the middle of the base. Uh, so, we'll just thin it out a bit. From this range, you have to have... Uh, the, I guess the B stood for brains everywhere. Aww. Uh, no basketball for that boy. From this range, to like, land headshots, the little tip of your sight has to be like, three pixels above their head. Mm -hmm. So just stick their head in the triangle, and you're yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, they don't know where gunshots are from, coming from, so I'm still technically not, uh, on alert. Yeah. 
So yeah, with the battle dress, the horse can take a lot more shots before uh, the horse gets messed up. Aww. Oh, also, this guy's gonna get a grenade to the face! <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. That's my reaction, getting shot in the face with a grenade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can still fire from the horse. It's pretty fun to just run around with a grenade launcher with your battle horse. Don't you shoot at my horse. Yeah, there don't shoot at my horse. Somebody learned his lesson. This is Dimitri IV, the fourth Dimitri. <laughs> we are all named Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri 1 through 3 have been killed. By a crazy man and a horse. Uh, also, uh, when you're aiming with a gun, <laughs> you're in a building. Hold up, I gotta, I gotta know about what buildings are. <laughs> Uh, when you're aiming with a gun, if you press the X button, you swap between your, your primary gun and your sidearm, so you don't have to, like, stop and fiddle with the equipment stuff. It's nice. Also, I'm just, like, straight up killing this dude, even though he was, like, already near death, because some guys, again, if they have a little more moxie, uh, they, while dying, will still pull out their pistol and start shooting at you. He's gonna talk about his life's work for a while. You can just send him up anyway. Yeah. Also, like, I didn't have to lockpick that door or anything. It was already wide open. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I'm guessing either a guard was in the process of opening it to check on him, or that those grenades I threw down pried it open. Ah, yeah, yeah. One of those two. Yeah, hybrids, whatever, fine. Mm hmm Yep, bye. Got <laughs> I gotta get out of here with my, before my horse gets blown up. Just tell me later. I'm <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the battle just protects your horse. Uh, your horse can't mm -hmm. die, but he can be incapacitated and be... He will be... When he's near death, the horse will be immediately fulton out of the area. Uh, and this actually lessens this is your just a specific horse chopper. Yeah. So Big Boss and Venom Snake are just leaving, but uh Vapor Snake was lost in a sandstorm for a while. Oh no. But uh, you know, he just spotted this little slope and he's just gotta try this out. Well, you made it out of the hot zone. I entered the fun zone. That's it. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Mission complete, and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. <laughs> Wait, which one? <laughs> uh, that's for that's for Vapor Snake, actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think um, they will. Also, at the bottom left, you know, there's that bond level for the horse. Uh, that goes up if you ride him a lot and, like, make daring escapes with them. Uh, the, you can actually lose, like, bond points with your horse if he gets shot a lot and, like, passes out and stuff. Or if, like, you punch him. Don't punch your horse. <laughs> that makes him mad at you. Wow, they thought of everything. Everything. <laughs> the horse doesn't like to get punched. <laughs> <laughs>